Square, please give us a thumbs up and I'll let you place those robots. Who's gonna win today? Bigger. Better. No, no. no. So, wait, maybe we can, because that's closer. And more challenging than ever. Seven years of Rocky Mountain Best hit 2016 with a strong mix of middle and high school students, all competing in Colorado's only free STEM education robotics competition. 2010, uh, I, never in my mission I would thought, in my life would think that in, in six, seven years, we will grow from 10 teams uh, and one hub to four hubs and over 60 teams and over a thousand students in the whole state competing. Uh, now we have a hub in Trinidad, which is in the south of the state, one in the northeastern part of the state, a rural one in Julesburg, and two here in the Denver metro area. I hope we can continue to grow. That's something that I've been really pushing. And the university, MSU Denver, has been really good at helping us out in that. Uh, and I hope that within the next year or two we have a regional competition so we can have students actually coming from out of state so we get this all picked up and ready to go rocky mountain best stands for boosting engineering science and technology we provide students with an opportunity to compete in a robotics competition that promotes stem education teamwork process learning and contributes to a robust pipeline of stem students entering into the higher education pipeline and stem workforce lift up the rubber bands yeah Oh, do you? He, you don't want to do it, right? No! 69 teams at four hubs in Colorado are competing in this year's game called Bet the Farm. Now Green is going for the corn seeds to plant. Those are, I believe, 10 points each. Teams must design and create a robot that can score points. This year, there are six different scoring pieces and even more ways to build points. Maybe you try to get the score. corn since we're very close to that. Yeah. And then, like, we can drop the claw down in order to scrape it off. No, then we, we can't get the corn. We can't even get the stem. Oh, yeah. Tall. The stem is yeah. even farther away. Teams get their robot parts and instructions on kickoff day. Their planning, design, construction all get tested on practice day. Teams then make their final adjustments, and on game day, competitive juices really flow when trying to troubleshoot and compete as a team. Yeah, that's going to be a lot better. That's lower than the rest now, so it's fine. All right, I think we're ready for the next round. Yeah, uh, um, we are. It's eight. shifting a little bit, but not enough to touch the chassis. To make sure everything's super tight. Fill in the circles that have been completed. Let's talk about some management, guys. This is something you guys have never had to do before. So now I'm giving you information. I'm expecting you guys to take it on. Game Day exposes students to a higher education campus setting in Metropolitan State University of Denver, with six hours of matches concluding with awards. All teams are required to submit a detailed project notebook like these that must be completed as a ticket into final competition and describe the team's story of creating their robot. Schools may also compete with their exhibit booths and interviews. This year's booths were more complex than ever, including virtual reality experiences and a custom-created video game. New this year, a visit to the Denver competition by the National Organization's Executive Director. What I see here in Denver is amazing passion, um, organization, strong fundraising. They have all the steps of the stool to make a, a great hub model, and it's the kind of thing that we want to share across our footprint to help other hubs get stronger and be sustainable. Mandel says nationally there are 45 hubs located in 19 states, serving 30,000 students a year. She adds that Rocky Mountain Best has been exemplary in building relationships that benefit students, STEM industry employers, and educational institutions to ultimately fuel a strong workforce. President Carolyn Bauer says it's all part of a larger expansion plan to become a regional organization, but your help is needed to make that a reality. We think that there's a high likelihood that we'll have a hub next year in Colorado Springs. And we think another hub in another state that's not too far away might want to join us. So we'll chat with them and see if they're interested. That would give us what BRI calls the minimum number of hubs to be a region, which is six. We'd be having a much bigger, much more expensive competition in six weeks or a month if we're a regional. So 
It's a three-pronged problem. Um, more hubs, more sponsors, more volunteers, more money. I guess that's four. <laughs> An optional part of the event is competing for the best award, the highest achievement available which allows students to demonstrate a broad set of real-world skills, including marketing, technical writing, public speaking, and process skills. Uh, we've taught them the engineering process, so they've been documenting things. Every day they had to write down exactly what their particular team was working on, and we kept all those notes. So we did the notebook, told the kids, okay, this is your team's notes, you type up that section, and the kids just, you know, it was a piece of cake for them. The best award components do include the exhibit booths and engineering notebooks, and the marketing presentations. Ralston Valley High School won this year's best award, as well as the Founders Award for Creative Design and the Robotics Competition. Thomas Jefferson High School won Most Robust Machine. Wheat Ridge High School won awards for Software Design and Simulation, as well as Engineering Notebook. Abraham Lincoln is the best rookie team for 2016. DSST Byers Middle School won for Craftsmanship and Skyline High School triumphed with the Sportsmanship Award this year. Teams traveled to Arkansas to compete regionally in December 2016. Rocky Mountain Best teams earned these trophies in the Regional Championship. In the Game Awards, DSST Byers took third place. In Game Awards, first place for Most Elegant Robot went to DSST Byers as well and Innovation Center of St. Vrain Valley's webpage took second place honors. How do we grow? How can you get involved? Two ways. Financial sponsorships are critical. Sustainment and growth of our programs requires your financial support. In addition to financial support, we always need an army of volunteers to support our events. Volunteers who provide support witness the lifelong impact they make on young lives. Getting the enthusiasm of the kids is fun, and then seeing the difference in what they're doing week to week as far as putting developments into their computers, into the robots. It's just fun to see that enthusiasm and, and the knowledge that comes with it. We hope you'll get involved for the upcoming years and help propel Rocky Mountain Best to the next level. The goal is to fundraise 25% more over 2016 levels to help create a regional event. And for those interested in inspiring a new generation of students, we are always looking for that next group of volunteers who wants to start another best hub. We're a cheap date. This is a very, very inexpensive uh, competition. Uh, a team, uh, a hub that already has 10 to 12 teams can be sustained with just about between 30 and 40 thousand dollars. Denver is a model of a hub that is the strongest model that we have in our footprint. We have a few others like this in that they operate as a separate 501c3 with a core of very strong volunteers who come from industry, who understand the, the goal and mission of the organization because ultimately we're here to serve students. We're gonna win. We're gonna win. We're gonna win. Let's go, Sophie. We're gonna win. Let's go. And that's the end of round two. Great job. Find out more by calling 303-351-BEST or emailing info at rockymountainbest.org.